I'll try to show you how I clip the feet. Um, you're pretty much going to go up to the wrist bone, so you'll feel two kind of lumpy bones on either side. You're pretty much going to go kind of to the bottom of that. And again, in reverse with my 40 blade, if you're doing a pet dog or um, a dog with really sensitive skin, you might want to not go so short, but he's very used to this. I tend to start at the top. I think a lot of people start at the bottom, but at the back of the foot, but I, uh, I prefer to start at the top. <clears throat> I find I just get everything I need to done at the top and then I'm just pulling out the hairs on either side of the thing with my fingers. I'm just using my fingers to pull that out. And you just want to separate, you want to push your fingers in between the pads at the back. That way it'll separate your toes. And then you can also pull the skin to either side. Um, so you just want to stretch the skin to be able to get in there and get everything off. You want to be careful of the webbing. You don't want to go into the webbing. Um, you want to scoop kind of from either side rather than going directly into the webbing. Otherwise you could cut them, especially with a longer length, like a 10 or a 15, um, you're more likely to be able to cut them that way. And I'm just going to keep working around, spreading the toes. Taking your fingers and pulling anything out from inside the toenails so that you get a nice clean line. On either side of the nail, and just really get your clippers in there. Keep moving your fingers around just to stretch the skin in as many ways as you can so that you can try and get as tight of a finish on there as possible. So that's about the front of it. I'm going to see if I'm going to turn around and be close enough to see the back of this foot. Um, I I just, uh, all right, I should turn. Right. Hopefully you can see that well enough. This is the back of that same foot. And I'm going to just Take the line up. This isn't the best. Let's see what we can do. Don't know if that helps, but um, take the line up to kind of where the top of the pads is, which is roughly where we would have like that kind of continues your line. Just make sure you get to either side of that. Clean that up. into the pad. Again, watch out for the webbing. But you're just going to clean it all up. You can go a little bit, um, you know, a little bit kind of in between the pads. Just watch out again for the webbing. You don't want to go 
in like this. You want to go in kind of with the direction. There. And then this again. Clean it up as much as you can on the inside. A nice smooth cut. foot in the front. So I have it on my table. 